Let me show you some secret functions of Affinity Photo that you've probably never seen before and it makes the software a lot easier to use. Hello my friends, how are you doing? My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer, let's get started. So the first secret has to do with our toolbar here on the left. We go to View and then to Customize Tools. And down here you can see the number of columns. You can set up to eight columns and starting with two columns, you will see a very special effect when you close this adjustment. Because now you have the color selector down here below your tools. And this becomes even more useful when you go to view and then undock your tools. So now they are hovering over your canvas and this means you can put them wherever you're working on in the image so that you're always very close to your tools and to the color selection. The next secret also has to do with the toolbar. As you know, when you click on this little triangle here for these tools, they reveal more tools beneath them. So you can instead go to view and customize tools and add these tools that are hidden in the pop-up menus right away to your toolbar just like that. You can just drag them in here and use them right away. Now, there are also a lot of icons you've probably never seen before. For example, clarity tool, twirl tool, pinch and punch tool. So what are they actually doing? Let's try that out. Now, when we click here on our clarity tool, what it actually does, it opens up a filter. So we don't have to go up to filters and search for that in this menu and in the pop-up menus below that. So this makes the usage a lot quicker. The only caveat here is that these are destructive filters. They are not the live filters you find over here, but still you can access filters you use a lot much much quicker when you put them over here in the toolbar and of course if you want to reset everything simply go to view customize tools and down here it says reset you click on that you see the tools jump back to normal not the columns you have to set that up separately now here's another trick that is more about the fanciness of the software we go to edit and then preferences you go to user interface and down here you have the choice for monochromatic iconography sounds very fancy but what it actually does is it turns all of your icons into black and white might not be super helpful but if you feel like the interface is too colorful everything now is in gray the next secret has to do with the usage of your screen real estate this is especially interesting for people who have smaller screens and want to use more of that so here on the right side we have all these tabs that are super useful but they also use a lot of space so in affinity photo what you can do is you can press Control, Shift and H at the same time. And this is going to be hidden until you press this a second time and it shows up again. If you want to make this process a lot easier, I suggest to you to make this a shortcut that you program into one of your mouse keys if you have a multi button mouse and then you can simply do the same thing with just one press of a mouse button but there is an even simpler way to do this and this is by pressing tab now when you press tab as you can see everything goes away the studio view on the right the tools up here and the toolbar on the left all are hidden until you press tab again now you might think this is pretty good because now i can see my image and it almost fills the screen so this is really beautiful but at the same time you can't reach your tools anymore so i have a better suggestion for you this is the next secret you can go up here to view and select new view this will simply open up a second window of the same canvas you're working on. So you can drag this out and it will stay in front and hover in front. This is very useful because you can see, even if I click in the background and move this around, this in the foreground still hovers on top. Now, if you have two screens, the really cool thing you can do here is to make one of these windows full screen so you can work on that and simply move all of the software to the second screen so you can still access all of the tabs, 
all of the studio functions, all of the tools, and you can work and have everything full screen at the same time. It's a really beautiful way to work with your software. The next secret has to do with choosing color. So what you can actually do is you can drag the software window out. You can see now you see the background of my desktop. And if you would have other photos here in the background or the browser open or just the wallpaper on your background, you can use your color picker to pick from that outside of Affinity Folio. You can see it now turned beige and down here we have a darker beige and up here we have a brown. You can see I can pick from everywhere on my screen and even on my second screen. I can pick colors from that. So if you want to work a lot with colors, you can do it like that. It's really beautiful and very fast. Here's another trick for the tools, this time for the toolbar up here. You can right click on that and say customize toolbar and then this window opens up and in here you can see again the icons that are usually hidden in these menus. For example, when you select something and you click here on alignment, you get all these choices in a pop down menu. But instead you can also go here to customize and here you have the different alignment functions and you can simply drag them in here. So if you need to align something like this in center, you can do this like that very quickly and also all of these other beautiful choices. The next secret that is a bit of convenience is you can right click here and show icons and text. So this will help you identify what these are. This is especially useful if you haven't used the software in quite some time and you can't quite remember what these things are actually doing. If you're looking for more secrets like that, I have amazing videos for you about the asset manager, the assistant manager and the resource manager that you should absolutely check out. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.